Welcome again. In this session, we are reading Luke chapter 20, verses 1 through 8. By what authority are you doing these things? Verse 1. On one of those days, as he was teaching the people in the temple and preaching the good news, or preaching the gospel, the priests, or some manuscripts would say the chief priests and scribes, came to him with the elders. Now, for those of you who don't know, scribes are the actual Bible publishers of Jesus' day, so to speak. You know, today we have printing presses, we have publishing companies, we have photocopy machines. Back in those days, they didn't have, the, the, you know, this kind of technology. So the scribes would be the ones that would take the manuscripts that they have and copy them onto, you know, new manuscripts. They would, they would be the one that, ones that are actually writing this out by hand, copying it out by hand. This is what a scribe is. And so the, the, the scribes were very highly revered because their job was to, to uh, produce or to, uh, to copy the, the scriptures. Their job was to preserve the, you know, the word of God, the written word of God from generation to generation. Their job was to copy the, the scriptures out uh, so that other people could read it and, uh, and be blessed by it. And so in the process of copying it out, of course, they would be uh, reading and, uh, and understanding, hopefully, at least some of what they're doing. So uh, the scribes were considered to be religious leaders in, in, uh, in Jesus' day, revered religious leaders. Verse 2, they asked him, so this is the priests, the scribes, the elders. They asked Jesus, tell us, by what authority do you do these things, or who is giving you this authority? Now, I want to stop here and say, this is a typical objection by anybody who's trying to come against you. You know, you're out there, you're preaching the Word of God, or you're, you're doing basically anything. You know, this, this, is, this applies to more than just, um, you know, in, in the religious uh, world, but also in, uh, in many other professions. You know, that if someone has something against you, they're looking for something to find on you. They're looking to dig up some kind of dirt on you. They're looking to try to oppose you in some way. They're going to say, who makes you qualified to do what you're doing? By what authority are you doing these things? What kind of degrees do you, ha do you have behind your name? What schools did you go to? You know, how are you qualified to do what you're doing? You know, this is a typical, typical objection by anybody's enemies. And so we have this uh, objection raised uh, about Jesus by Jesus' enemies. Let's see what he has to say about this. Verse 3, he answered them, I also will ask you one question. Tell me, the baptism of, the baptism of John, was it from heaven or from men? They reasoned with themselves, saying, if we say from heaven, he will say, why didn't you believe him? But if we say from men, all the people will stone us, for they are persuaded that John was a prophet. They answered that they didn't know where it was from. Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. So Jesus was appealing to the authority of John the Baptist as being the authority by which he does these things. Not that John the Baptist, not that he's doing what he's doing by the, by the authority of John the Baptist, but he's basically saying, hey, I'm just like John the Baptist. What authority did John the Baptist have? I have the same authority. Very interesting that Jesus would align himself with John the Baptist in that way, because some people look at John the Baptist as a totally different kind of minister, a totally different kind of person than Jesus. Like John the Baptist was out there preaching repentance and preaching hard against sin. But if you really look at it in the real context that it's really in, you know, Jesus did the same thing. He preached the same message, the same message as, as John the Baptist, you know, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. That's the first thing he said. It's the first thing his disciples preached. It's what we read in, that is preached in the book of Acts. It's the last thing that Jesus said to his church as recorded in the, uh, the book of Revelation chapters 2 and 3. So um, as you go your way, remember that Jesus did what he did by the same authority that John had, the same authority that John the Baptist had, and the same message too, may I add. 
And so as you seek God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, may He show Himself to you in great and mighty ways. May He enlighten the eyes of your understanding. And as you call on Him with all your heart, may He show you great and mighty things, according to the Scriptures. In the name of Yeshua, thank you.